Hello and welcome to a new downhill mountain bike video. Today I'm on the Santa Cruz V180 Snake and we are at Farmer John's Mountain Bike Resort. Since I've last been here there's loads of new features, new lines, they've been digging, they've been building a lot and I haven't been Farmer John's I want to say in around at least four months, four months, yeah. four months five months. Um, so, anyways, today we're kind of going to just explore a few of the new lines. What I'll probably do today is like ride a couple of runs on each line. Um, so today we're going to start at the top by the car park, go all the way into the woods from the top of the car park. We are also going to ride the new jump line, which has got like a wall ride at the end, and then the 50 to John line, which is pretty sick. I haven't ridden that in quite some time, so it'll be nice to get over there and check that out today. I've still got very high pressure tyres from Dare Factory but we're not really riding much downhill stuff today. So I've decided I'm probably gonna keep the tires at like 45, 50 PSI. I'm running the tie spring. This is gonna be really like a true test to how the bike feels. It's good to come to some different bike parks a lot, I think, because you get to try different flavors and varieties. What are you laughing at? Flavors and varieties. It's the truth. It's not a bag of crisps. It is. Oh, it is. You never know what you're getting. The Nomad's running good. I think today's gonna be the best day on the Nomad, yes. The reason why, when we went to Revolution Bike Park for the first time on the Nomad, first run down I slammed because it was too windy to jump and then I never got to jump again. Today I'm going to be able to jump some serious lines on this thing. It's going to be really crazy. Let's go. Got the camcorder, haven't we? We have. We've got the camcorder, which means guys can follow me on the jump lines. Insert jump line here. <laughs> yes, guys. See you down the middle, pal. See ya. Dog. Yes, guys. Pretty crazy, this. Oh my god. No way, that's changed. What the hell? <laughs> Farmer John's, big step down, off the top, on the Nomad. Oh my days. We feel fast on here today on the Nomad. I've not pedalled once. Doing the Canyon Gap. Easy. Oh, Farmer John's is mega. I'd love to manny that before the end of today. Farmer John's, man, look at it. Oh. Oh. Right, okay, so this is the new line at John's. You probably know this line. Oh, the new line. Quite focused here because John's does scare me a bit. Downhill stuff, I actually think it's pretty gnarly for downhill stuff. Even though it's obviously slightly flatter because it's a push-up park and never ever ever underestimate john's <sighs> smash that thumbs up button if you're out riding over the weekend and it's nice and dry the best weather ever okay come to these step downs last time i took that like that a bit seemed to work straight round there Mega. This bit here, I kind of got sketchy on before. Hopefully I can get this a bit better. Oh, I want to go it. Straight through. Roots are pretty gnarly. I'm super slow, guys. But I am just kind of still getting... Oh. <laughs> Never ceases to surprise me. Check out the step down. The big step down on the outside, we're going to film on the camcorder. I kind of wanted today to show you a few feature jumps and lines and manuals and show you how much more agile the Enduro slash downhill ride is. At 180 mil travel, it feels really, really crazy. For stuff like this step down, the 600 100 pound spring, I can pretty much just bunny up the bike wherever I want it and stuff. It feels really, really crazy. I'm really happy with the bike, actually. I'm only just getting used to the bike. But what I will say is, 
already I'm riding it better and I haven't even got started on it yet. So I wanted to demonstrate a couple of step downs so you can see kind of how much steezier I'm going off stuff. That's kind of weird to say. Um, I kind of wanted to film a can't. I kind of wanted to film a couple of step down jumps just to show you how the bike kind of rides from an outside perspective rather than just the GoPro. Enjoy. All of you mountain bikers watching, if you've been out riding this weekend, let's have a chat in the comments below. How the hell was your session? What were the conditions like? Conditions quite good at John's today. Quite like murky, like you can tell it's beam wet, but it's just over the dry limit. I couldn't imagine it any dry. I've actually got about 50 p 45 PSI in the tires today. Yeah, boy! Top step down. Coming in hot. It's nice, it's like really stiff. It feels more like jump bikey. Big stiff coil. Um, used not even 170 mil of travel, probably. Maybe 170 of me 180. Nice and stiff. I think it's perfect. I think it's the perfect size bike for me as a rider. I'm going to do a couple more jumps. That was quite sketchy. <laughs> One here. It was a bit. All right, take two. Oh! So, if you've ever jumped the two step downs, you are faced with the canyon gap, which is pretty crazy. It's quite intimidating. I'm going to show you this from an extra angle. Obviously, if you've already seen it today on the GoPro, insert canyon gap here. Okay, welcome back. Glad you've seen the canyon gap game, but I wanted to show you guys from the outside. Now, people have been somewhat confused on why I've been putting a 600 pound spring in the rear of the bike. Because I come from BMX, I've got quite a heavy pump. Like I like to really pump things rather than just like racing and cruise. I like to kind of hop, hop and blop. Blop, 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 blop. I like to sliver. Basically, it's a type of downhill where you just sliver through everything. The sliv. Today's point is, I could not imagine jumping the canyon gap with less. My spring rating, if you actually want to race downhill, is 350, I think, for my weight. 370 or something for my weight, which is really crazy. It would bottom out so bad. So I'm running 600, and I wanted to show you how comfortable the canyon gap feels from an outside perspective. Enjoy. If you like this type of video, by the way, smash the thumbs up button. Or if you prefer the GoPro video, just let me know in the comments and I'll keep riding GoPro. See you at the canyon gap, guys. See you there. It's so big, the camera, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Wish people knew how big it was. They can. You've got a GoPro on your helmet. This is how big it is. Jump the gap, canyon gap. I can't say canyon, it's weird. Then you jump this little sliver. Then you come round these berms here. There's two. One, two. And you hit this wooden walkway. Now, one thing that I found really, really crazy when I got a downhill bike, I could not manual it. I used to watch people manual in runs and stuff and do flip to manuals. When I tried to manual, I was like, I can't manual. Then I got the Nomad. And within about 20 minutes, I could manual, couldn't I, Gaz? You could. For quite some distance. Yeah. It's quite crazy. So, today I've came here with the aim. It sounds stupid, I've set myself a little goal today. I know I can jump all the jumps here. I've actually set myself with a little goal. Can I manual this? That's what I want to know. It's probably going to take me about a thousand attempts. It might be a bit repetitive, or I might get a first go. Check it out.
Okay, so after about how many attempts? Ten. Ten attempts. The money is done, and I am very happy about that. Actually, I'd love to get to the point where I can money on it, down it to the next jump, but got a long way to go. I think speed is key. Um, this next track, you've seen me ride this before on the YT. This is called the 50 to John. I'm going to take a few runs through this, see how it feels on the Nomad. I've got a feeling it's going to be mega because the tyres are hard, the spring's stiff, and we've got 180 to chuck about. Guys, is going to film a couple of camcorder lines, and I'll film a couple on the GoPro, and then the session is done. But it put, puts up with it well, actually. Session is done. Mega day. The V180 Snake performed again. Today I didn't have any slams, which I'm very grateful for. I feel like I've had a good session today. I've learnt a few more little drop things, manual lines. A bit more techy in terms of the session. Rather than if I went to do like an uplift park where it'd be like flat out. I am missing the uplift, but that was an incredible session and it was a very, very well chosen day to come here. I'm really happy that I came. I had a good session. John's, John's has delivered some of the lines they're building. We haven't even showed you guys. They're building like dirt jump lines. There's trails down the bottom. It's it's bonkers here. It's getting crazier every time I come. Considering the last time I came was four months and they've been completely non-stop rebuilding it all. It's really sick. Shout out John's. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's downhill video. And I will see you guys tomorrow at about 7.38pm. Peace.